I can feel Medusa's voice turning inside me again and again, and I cannot hold back. She's coming. Here she goes. Here she goes. She's coming. She's coming. She wants something. She wants something. She only comes when my tolerance is gone. My senses are heightened, and my heart is weak. I hear Medusa speak to me. I listen to her cry to me, and she says, I am the Queen of Gorgons, a female Amazon warrior huntress of Libya and the North Africa, with the crown of snakes, ultimate guardian protectress from the evil eye. You can find my story in the Book of the Damned and thread it through the wheel of torture. I have been searching for my head and a replantation for what was a vaulted. The one that they capulated and took as their trophy. My eternal body is longing for what's been lost and demonized. A knowing that the time has come to reclaim my severed body parts. A remembering of who I am, my power, that I am autogenetic mother God. I have come from myself and the blood of my neck has the power to heal. My topmost was decapitated, castrated, capulated in terror dark as night, an avulsion, an amputation. Perseus came for me with the sheath of his sword, pregnant and birthing Poseidon's spawn. The perfect storm of the cost of beauty, so they say, which one may never know until they bear a pretty face. Envy, and jealousy, 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 lust, 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 and greed. Cursed for breaking the vows of celibacy. My hymen was hunted and torn purely from primal and carnal drive that the gods supposedly are to be above. Punishment for a Vestal Virgin who lost her virginity was inhumation. Dehumanizing. To become like a monster. Virgins were a storehouse of untapped energy like a charged battery. Kept like bouquets of fleur-de-lis in the Cardinal's gardens of fertility. If a woman was neither a virgin nor married, she became like a threat to the patriarchal. I dared to compare my beauty to that of Pallas Athena, an inflamed goddess of contention and wrath and supported war with the gods. She had a reputation for female on female violence. The audacity in me they could not bear. My loyalty was to Neith. Parthenogenetic goddess of the first Egyptian dynasty. Goddess of Atlantis. Woman of the red crown and two arrows crossed over a shield. Mother of the great flood. Giving birth to the sun daily ruling the primordial waters and traumatic amnesic birthing processes forgetting your primordial soul nightmares and visions after vision of his driven order and her cast in black shadows relentlessly they were coming from my head coming for a historical rupture that would strip the priestesshood right from me. 
and catapult open the collective reversal gates to the Black Madonna network through the undercurrents of religious dogma. They incited spiritually abusive and harmful beliefs of female subservience, discrimination, and suffering. I became the ultimate face of the rejected woman. Where? Where? Waking up from a nightmare that is real day after day. The constant shock that my head is gone. My potency is bleeding out, yet still I remain. Then it was complete darkness from that point on. And all I could suddenly feel was fire and rage sent coursing down my back. I guess the threat of a gaze that immobilizes man through bodily petrification turning soft tissue to bone. A conflict between an idealized perfect state and the actual reality of one's feelings, emotions, and rage. Intellectual paralysis. An emotional frozen state. Yes. Yes. A gaze of a black mirror, so deep and so dark, in which they created has no place amongst the brotherhoods of snakes and non-human entities, where they fail to see their self-destruction and inwardly directed aggression is produced by a disruption of the mother-child mutual gaze their fake milk powders and artificial wombs. They made me put away my breast and bow to their Pope. Kissing Yeshua's feet like a beggar. Pope is not Christ. He is not ascended. They are all following mad men, an illness of the Piscean age. They chose to interfere in the process of creation, knowing there was no going back once they took and tarnished the Holy Grail. Their politics, propaganda, and their lies. Disillusion, convoluted psychosis, pedophilia, and babbling bullshit. They wanted the potency of my power that resides in my head. They needed it as a sacrifice to the great goddess of the underworld. Vatica. 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 In which they stole her name. They had to feed the dragon, don't you see? Just to keep her quiet just to keep her not remembering how she has been dismembered into parts. The Virgin Mary, red roped and binding, I am the Eight of Swords. Bound and blindfolded, trapping her in place, a symbol of the limiting thoughts, beliefs, and mindset that prevents her from moving forward in her life. The ultimate female capitulation to the male power system. My head is a trophy of their glory and a weapon of their resistance to the Divine Mother. Away with her head, you only feel safer, she's dead. A gaze that casts your faults to stone, an intensity so powerful she turns your soft tissue to bone. You can run, but you cannot hide, for that monster that you fear must be defeated within inside. Her snake hair seductive dreadlocks and coils protecting this mother earth as you take her blood for oil. 
North African priestess, protective huntress, shall reclaim her head for the ultimate female justice. I started searching by the corals of the Red Sea where my blood spilled into the seaweed and washed upon the lands of Ethiopia. But all I found was venomous vipers spewing from my blood. I looked through my homelands of Libya and dug up the mounds in Argos and I still have dirt under my nails. This is where I thought they could have buried it. But all I witnessed was the progression of my own decay. I looked in the temples of Venus, Vesta, and Juno in the Palatine Hill and felt deeply that I was getting closer and closer, like my head was here and then moved. But all I discovered were masks and idols of my portrayal and creatures of fear and myth. I contemplated and scoured in their coliseums of enslavement, drudgery, and toil, and scraped my torn pieces of my nails cut into stone from my madness. But all I soon found was my own anger, dissatisfaction, and victimization. Within me, Bursting through every part of me for centuries, my eternal red flame continues to burn in this ground, in this rock. They want to put me on their Versace. They want to fly me on the flag of Sicily. They want to paint me on their Roman mosaic floors and carve me into their basilicas. Boast my idols and relics in parliament buildings from Istanbul to Winnipeg. They impaled the 12 stars of Mary's crown around my head. No one wants to speak of female crucifixion. They culturalize my head as their trophy for their belief systems of misogyny and use it to ward off the same evils in which they worship. The irony of black and white. Find you. Tired and sleep deprived, with all the regret and memories of the ones that I have stoned. Yes, I care, but they deserved it. Shameless they are, reckless and ignorant. I should have split their tongues. I found myself at the Angel Bridge in Roma, in front of me, and I seen an angel holding the crystal of the sun, 
And she said to me, Beautiful Medusa, Queen of the Gorgons, female Amazon warrior huntress of Libya, of the North Africa's with the crown of snakes, ultimate guardian protectors from the evil eye, my darling, you were chosen for a very special mission on this earth. The sacrifice that you have made is one that serves the greater good of all humanity. You must rest, my child. I am you from a higher dimension, transcended and whole. Your salvation sits on the other side of this bridge at the Vatican. Trust in your heart that still beats. For immortality you have already attained. Feel your rage, feel your pain, and feel your capulation and severed parts. Feel your power and call this back unto thee. But do not let it consume you into separation of light from darkness. For all is one and all is holy. The gods did this in Genesis and they divided humanity. Learn from their mistakes. Even gods have lessons that they are learning. Zeus continuously strikes the pantheon with lightning and cannot release his anger, you see? We are all evolving in all dimensions. Do not forget your compassion, your grace, and your mercy. Your most powerful rise is in your deepest and most vulnerable realization. This is where you will take your life and your power back. The voices will subside as you forgive and as you restore your severed parts. The reattachment of your head will resolve all enmity placed upon woman. This is why you were chosen to heal the total struggle with evil, healing the struggle with enmity between woman and the serpent, woman and her children, woman and knowledge, woman and her body, woman and her sexuality, woman and her spirituality, you will set the goddess free. Even Athena will thank you someday from the heavens. Now take the crystal of the sun and head to the Vatican. Reattach your head. Be gracious, my dear. This storm will clear. Now go. Fire and water, smoke and steam, my skull is speaking to me in between. The growing lump in my throat can't speak, can't swallow, can't drink. Until I fix my head, I cannot think. Decapitation feels like an eternal thirst. Denied DMT at the death burst. While the storm kept on pouring like rigorous rain, I found myself drenched, wet, cold, and nearly possessed under the moon. How did I get here? Was Medusa in charge or was it me? I'm lost in the voices, the turning inside, the hot and the cold, the back and the forth. I'm losing all control. Interdimensional whiplash, a psychological thriller. Medusa, Medusa she's back. She's here. My stoned gaze set straight on the back of I know that they have my head. The angel confirmed this to me. She blessed me and shown me my truth. Don't forget what she told you. I can feel the pressure of my mind dwelling within the grottos in wet pools of cold, dark water. The reversal portal pulling me into its mental labyrinth, necropolis and cemetery, networks of burial grounds and graves, and it feels like they want me to call to the city of the dead and open the gates and free the souls. I could feel the aching from the pit of the dragon, a throbbing pain from my severed female parts, a pulsation of a courageous drive from my root chakra. Keep looking, don't stop, you're so close. 
execution, capulation, decapitation, beheading, crucifixion, strangulation, electrocution, capital punishment, gag orders, a necktie party, major throat shocker blockages, spinning and spinning. It wasn't just me. Keep looking. I found the hall of head records, row after row, and none of them were mine. Who are these people? What are their stories? Why do I feel strangely connected to them? Heads on display, heads on shelves, heads remarkably preserved, desiccated under loophole and crossed key. I couldn't believe this. Head after head, they have taken and separated between head and its bag of bones, carcasses, Beheading the immortalized, figures and forms lost, heartbeats and holograms passing through the headstones. They don't want anyone to speak from the living to the afterlife. My mind and heart is spinning. Where is the justice? Purify your feelings and your thoughts. Forgive Medusa. All truths will be revealed. Trust in faith, my dear. Let the divine assist you. Eternal goodness will prevail. Breathe. And just then, the voices stopped. The spinning stopped. The running and running stopped. The devastating thirst stopped. The lump in my throat cleared. The constant ache of fleshing out resolved. And years and years of unhealed, agonizing, Ag- agonizing physical agonizing, atrophy agonizing, agonizing. feels renewed. I found my head. Perseus clutching it within his jaws of life. I command and release. I'm taking it back. A replanting of my head, my mind, my soul, and my spirit. It's all connected. The kiss of death, I no longer fear it. Reappend this head. Put this torment to bed. The ultimate release of coveted evil. A true recovery and retrieval. The embrace where madness melts into bliss. A fixation we must reminisce. I choose to heal and forget what they chose to conceal, letting it all go. Medusa finally revealed her face to me, and it was unsettling. I'm sure it was difficult for her to reveal her true nature, but I'm so thankful that she did. A woman of the shadows, no longer she has to reside in the deepest intensification of this pain and be the scorned sage. For reclamation is hers and the spell forever undone. Renewal, rehabilitation, rebuilding, recovery, restoration, reattachment. A new journey has begun.